Good morning. Today is March 31st. My name is Bob Davis. I'm the pastor here at First Presbyterian Church in Carson City. And these are your midweek announcements. This is the middle of Holy Week, and we have a lot of activities going on. And so I just want to remind you that tomorrow night, Thursday, April 1st, 7 p.m. in the sanctuary, we will be having a Maundy Thursday Tenebrae service. It is um, a recollection and a time of dwelling in the scriptures, talking about Jesus instituting the Lord's Supper, and then walking the walk with him to the cross and his atoning death for us. So it begins at seven. It's about an hour long. Um, It is a very powerful time of reflection to spend um, with others, but before God, remembering the deep, deep love of God for us in Jesus. Good Friday, April 2nd, from 1 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, there will be a time where the sanctuary doors are open and you're welcome to come and pray and listen to music, just kind of be present uh, as we remember Jesus' time on the cross itself. And so again, from 1 to 3 Friday afternoon here in the sanctuary. Then Sunday... Uh, Sunday, April 4th, one service, 10 o'clock. Uh, we can, we are confident that we can have as many here as want to come. There are no restrictions uh, in terms of realistic, in terms of the numbers that we can have. It would require us to have basically miracle multitudes for us not to have the space because we have the sanctuary and the uh, Family Life Center and the Fellowship Hall if we need it. Um, so come be a part of the service. And then after the service, plan on spending a little bit of time uh, in fellowship with each other. We're going to have a a time of fellowship with uh, coffee and some food out here on the Northeast lawn, the lawn that faces out towards Carson City itself. And we want to invite you to catch up with old friends, to make some new friends, to learn who we are and what we're about as we look to open the gospel to Carson City and beyond. It's Resurrection Sunday. It is the the victory celebration of what God has done in his great love for us. So come be a part of that. 10 o'clock is the worship service. Uh, We'll be in fellowship time, probably 1130-ish. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. So we have been saying all along, weather permitting, and God seems to have provided us a good space to be able to do this. So we are very, very grateful. Uh, Just one other quick reminder about Easter Sunday. The Methodist Church will be using its parking lot, which is like right outside of the AT&T building on the west side of our campus. They're going to be using that, their parking lot, uh, for their worship service. So please don't look to park there. Um, We have parking available all around the church, and we have a lot across the way to the northeast side. Um, Please use those first, and um, we can be good neighbors and good brothers and sisters in Christ. There will be nursery, but not Sunday school on Easter Sunday. And there is not going to be any uh, fourth through sixth grade Sunday school the week after on April 11th. Uh, There will be a special treat for kids on Easter Sunday, so um, please bring them along. Uh, Thanks for everybody who's participated willingly in the COVID comfort sticker uh, experiment. Uh, Green for you're fully comfortable. Yellow for you want to keep a little bit of distance. Red, you're doing the very best that you can to be here. It's just a way that we can work to make uh, it welcoming and less anxious for those who are coming to visit for the first time. It Hopefully, we aren't going to have to do this much more than through Pentecost. And uh, But for now, it is a way that we can be a blessing to one another just by sharing what we're comfortable with. And so um, thanks for taking part in that. This Saturday... 
between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Um, there is a work day here at the church. Building and Grounds is having a work day. Uh, be sure to bring gloves, rakes, brooms, hedge trimmers, or whatever may, you may need to help out with clearing the grounds. Uh, the the church only has so many tools. They're going to start work here at about 9 a.m. Coffee and donuts will be there to share. Uh, there are a flat of flowers to plant by the office. And if we get the property around the church and the office all cleaned up, then there's the church's parking lot on the corner that always needs cleanup as well. So um, if you are available Saturday, 9 a.m., uh, come lend a hand and let's make beautiful this campus for Easter Sunday. There is no pastor study tonight, March 31st. We will resume the pastor study next Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday will be the first time that we are going to return to the Hebrew study that was interrupted by the pandemic. It's going to be a hybrid class, which by which I mean we're going to have it down in the Family Life Center for those who want to attend in person, but we also will have it via Zoom. And so this first class is really going to be a chance to recap what we have already covered in the first five chapters of Hebrews to get us up to speed. But it also gives us a chance, um, as we did with the Lenten series, to work out the bug so that when we start into new material, we have a better handle on the technology. So not tonight, but a week from tonight, next Wednesday, 630 we will have the pastor study. If you plan on attending via Zoom, please let me know um, and we will make sure that you are getting the link. If you've been getting the link for the Lenten series, you'll continue to get those. But if you're looking to start anew and you want to do it via Zoom, send me an email. We'll make sure you get the meeting information so that you can click it, it click the link and, and hop into the, to the class time. Friday, we have a special, special new podcast. I've got a story to tell with Dan Skinkus. And so just want to play you a quick clip right here. You know, when we talk Jesus, that's the most exciting thing I know I could do with another human being. I mean, we could talk about everything else, politics and all about everything. But when you talk Jesus, it's exciting. It is time to rebuild our youth ministry. In Romans chapter 10, verses 13 and 14, we read, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? The youth are influenced by so many different things today. Tools for communication and entertainment are at our fingertips. iPhones, iPads, computers, they reach information throughout the world. But much of that information is false. Intriguing? Yeah, to be sure. But false nonetheless. Through their middle and high school years, children are learning who they are. They're finding their place in the world. They are trying to find their truth. But how can they find their truth without knowing the truth? They need a foundation upon which to build their lives. A vibrant and active youth group is an opportunity for this age group to learn, to grow, to understand the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So let's create a platform for the youth in this community and beyond to learn about Jesus. So the Sessions Family Ministry Committee is forming a work group to look at youth ministry. This work group is going to identify the goals of the youth ministry, create an action plan, and get going on it. And this is the bonus part. It's a work group. It's not a committee. It's not an ongoing thing, which means once the plan is up and running, this work group is dismissed with thanks. So it's not a long-term commitment. If you're interested in being a part of this work group, um, plan on meeting after service on Sunday, April 18th. 
Sunday, April 18th. And so uh, we look forward to getting together, look forward to seeing you then. As always, this is a YouTube video, and so we invite you to hit the like button if you like these midweek announcements. Subscribe, ring the bell if you'd like notifications. We look forward to seeing you not tonight, but tomorrow night for Monday, Thursday, Friday afternoon for Good Friday, Saturday for the workday, and then finally, most gloriously, on Resurrection Sunday as we celebrate God's victory in Jesus Christ. Take care. God bless. like these midweek announcements subscribe wow did i mess that up <laughs> okay all right here we go hit the like button if you like these midweek announcements you're you're going to get it it's easy for you to say i'm coming over here this camera is nicer to me <laughs>